Let me draw an even fancier picture for you. Watch. Okay. Somebody mentioned the wire. I'm going to draw a big wire. Alright? So here's my wire. It goes across the whole board. Just like this. Now there's my wire. So big damn wire. Now I put the wires inside. These are the real wires inside. Okay. Alright, so first thing you gotta do is we gotta label this thing, okay? Where is the conductor? Inside. Inside, right? So the inside is the conductor. Where's the insulator? Outside. Outside, yeah. Excuse me. So I'm gonna ask you again. What's the point of having uh, an insulator? Why can't we just have the wires exposed? Protection from what? From electricity. Heat or electricity. Now electricity, does it have heat? Yes. Yeah, so for example, one of the reasons why we have conductors and we have insulators, conductors are obviously help for electricity to do what? To take it from point A to point B. So if I want to get if point, a, point A is here and B is here, I want to get the electricity from here to here, I've got a conductor, right? Okay, there's a wires. But I gotta keep it protected. I can't have the, the electricity is like a jumping uh, a jumping beam. If you put a slit here, right? For example, let's say I take a slit. I put one there. I put one there. Let's say I'm vacuuming the house, right? I'm going, rrr, rrr. All of a sudden, I pick up the wire and I put my finger here. Here's my finger. <laughs> and my hand is like this. Put my hands on the thing. If I touch that wire with my finger, what's going to happen to me? Why? Why am I going to get electrocuted? I become the conductor? No. no. But how come my finger? How come my finger doesn't insulate me and protect me? Because it's flesh. Flesh. Yeah. So what happens is once I put my finger here and I touch this wire, then I become the conductor. Yeah. Now the idea is one of the reasons we have an insulator. Insulator is made out of what? You said it earlier. Rubber. rubber, right? Now rubber doesn't conduct electricity. It just keeps it insulated, right? Now the idea is what? If you expose that wire and allow that conductor to run free, then what's going to happen is that energy is going to explode. And the idea is going to explode onto you or maybe cause a what? A fire, right? So one of the reasons we have wires and we have um, conductors, as a matter of fact, let me see if I have one right here. Here's one right here. Let me show you. Now, the whole job of this is to provide heat, right? Now, where do we get heat naturally from? The sun. But let's say you don't have a sun out. Let's say the sun goes out of business. We need to provide heat, okay? Now, the idea is, here's the wire, right? Now, the wire acts as what? Huh? The wire is the insulator, right? Now, inside, if I want to cut this wire in half, you can see the wires, right? Now, what's this? A plug. A plug. So this acts as a what? It acts as a conductor. So if I plug this into the wall, what's this made out of? Metal. And we know metal is a conductor of electricity, right? If these are made out of rubber and I plug them into the wall, what would happen? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing would happen. But if I take this right now, for example, if I have it like this, and I turn it around, here's the front. So now, it has, here's the heat, right? Here's the circuits to turn it on. Now what's really cool about this is it has an insulator. Now if this whole wire was exposed, and I, was, I saw my buddy right here, and he was sitting around, and I had the wire brother, I went, hey, how you doing? I just let that stay on his neck. What's going to happen to his neck? It's going to get zapped. So he gets zapped, he's going to get burnt. Now, just like, for example, what if I took this and I plugged it in and I threw it in the bathtub? What's going to happen? Uh, oh, water. An explosion. Something's going to happen. But basically, we know that water conducts electricity. We know that metal conducts electricity. But we know that rubber doesn't. Rubber is an insulator. Now, how do we figure that out? Probably through using what? Uh, heat. Well, how do we figure out that rubber doesn't conduct electricity? What do you have to perform? Experiment.